it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another chatty get ready with me. So I've already done my skincare and put my primer on so let's get started. I'm going to use my Tarte face tape today. I haven't really used it since I uh, tried it out when I was going through radiation so I'm going to use it today. Uh, those of you who've been with me a while know I filmed this on Thursday so you can have it on Friday and so today I have my appointment with my surgeon later this afternoon so I'm looking forward to that she's gonna drain my hematoma and I don't I guess just do a check and will probably schedule me for my last mammogram I still have to do that so that's what's going on today uh, Early this morning, we took our cat, Tiger, to the vet. He is at the vet right now. He's getting neutered today. So, he's not having a fun day. We pick him up tomorrow. So, I'm breaking out. I hope that's just a little zit. I've got poison ivy. I have got, it's in between these fingers um, I don't think you can see it on camera very well. It's starting to dry up, but it is on this hand. It was on this hand. It's cleared up. It's on the backs of both my legs and on my right ankle. Looks horrible. So, and there's a little on the back of my neck. It's just, oh, I hate poison ivy. I got it from um, doing yard work. So I haven't really done much to my skin this week because of the poison ivy. One, I'm spreading. I, I scratch. I try not to. I uh, scratch and I end up spreading it around. And, man, everything I've tried is not working. There we go. I like this foundation. So, let's see, not much going on this week except for uh, working in the yard and dealing with poison ivy. It's been a kind of a slow week. I have not felt bad. I have felt pretty good, which I'm glad. Uh, the worst is over, I do believe. I just want that final, you know, that final check you're all good. We'll see you in like six months or whatever. I'm not sure when. I guess I'll find out today. Or I go see Dr. Tara Waki, which is my oncologist. I see her on the 22nd, and it, she's doing the appointment card says lab work. So I don't, maybe I'll know more then. What's going on? I am done with the radiation. I don't see that doctor again till October. Yay for that. So, um, we've been in family talks about going to uh, Myrtle Beach in September. Uh, we are renting a house at Myrtle Beach. And everybody's going. My brother and sister-in-law and my in-laws and us and the grandkids so I am looking forward to that I would love a week at the beach nice relaxing week at the beach sounds great what do I do now? so yeah I can't really think of anything exciting that's gone on this week or that is going on um, Mother's Day is this coming weekend and my husband will be working Mother's Day. So he said we would do something next Monday. So I don't know what I'll be doing for Mother's Day. He wants me to think about it. Usually um, he buys me like plants for Mother's Day. But believe me, we have bought plants working on this yard. So I don't think I'm going to request that. Because we've, we've spent some money on some landscaping. Um, the guy is finishing up, he's uh, over next door uh, grading and smoothing off the piece of property I loaned them to build that big house. 
So I might be able to get that fence up soon. The sooner I get the fence up, the sooner I can let RC out and let him just run and play because he really wants to do that. So we gotta get the fence up and around and that's one of my top priorities right now. And so that's going on today. Right now they took a load of whatever, I guess gravel and stuff and out. They just took a dump truck load out, so it's quiet right now. I didn't really buy much for the um, Sephora sale. I bought a replacement for my contour palette. I, I ordered this. I got that. And I got um, a face self-tanner. And that's all I got. I didn't get any, I didn't spend any money, which kind of shocks me, but I didn't buy anything I didn't need. I didn't really need the face self-tanner. I wanted it. And, but I did need that replacement while I could get it at 20% off, you know. So, I've been pretty good. Been pretty good with that. The only thing I bought during uh, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty was I bought two MAC paint pots to use as eyeshadow primers. So, and those I have wanted for a long time. So, they were on sale, so I, I bought them while they were on sale. Now, this is not as chatty today. I hear the mailman. I think he's bringing something to my door. As long as he doesn't wake the dog. RC is sleeping. Yep, he's bringing something. Yeah, I'm just not chatty today. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not, I'm not feeling very chatty. My nails, I was going to do my nails. My nails are chipped. But I didn't. I think I'll remove this polish before I go to the doctor. Can at least do that. I meant to do my nails before I filmed. Sorry guys. I've been having a lot of problems with my knees. Doing all this yard work has really wrecked havoc on my knees. I've been icing them. I've been actually been taking some pain pills. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Born to Run palette today. I pulled that out to use because I haven't used it in a while. I'm going to use Breakaway all over. That's that light color. I washed all my brushes yesterday, so they're nice and clean. So, do you guys have any vacation plans? I'd like to hear what you guys have planned. If you have any vacation plans. We are, um, Brian and I are going to Buford in a few weeks. And then in July, we're going to SuperCon, which is now GalaxyCon. And then in September, the beach. So that's more than I had originally planned. Originally, all I thought was we were just going to Buford and that just be it for the year. Uh, the beach, um, week, my in-laws are, um, paying for it. So, they're renting the house. We just have to uh, buy our own food and, you know. But I know my father-in-law, he'll end up giving the kids gift cards to spend at the beach and take them go-kart riding or water parks and stuff like that. Because that's what he always does. Hmm, what do I want? Since I'm wearing peach color today, I'm going to go with Still Shot, which is that peachy color right there. I'm going to put that in my transition. I'm looking forward to Buford. I am ready. I want that to be told that I'm good to go, and I want to celebrate that this chapter in my life is all over and done with. I'm just waiting for that final all clear. I don't want to 
assume anything because after that first surgery I didn't know I was going to be having the second surgery so I'm just gonna hold off with celebrating until I know for sure till that mammogram comes back and it looks all clear then I'll celebrate I think I'm going to use Hell Ride, which is that kind of a dark mauvey plum color. That's it's more plum color. I'm going to go with Hell Ride, and I am going to I think put the majority of the color on the out this outer portion and work it over in the crease. This way. I have um, two nieces that graduated college here. Uh, Anna graduated, what was it, last week? And I think Nikki graduates the end of this month. Hannah, uh, Anna, my, my uh, niece Anna uh, attended Winthrop University in Rock Hill, South Carolina. In, she majored in music and she's got her cer certificate to teach, her teaching license. She's going to be a music teacher. Um, so I'm very proud of her. And uh, it's her sister Nikki who's also graduating college. They're not twins, they're actually two years apart. Um, but Nikki is graduating from Clemson University. And she's graduating from in business, so her degrees in business. So I'm very proud of both of them. And then Nathan graduated high school this year, so we've had three graduates in the family this year, and that's not uncommon for our family, because there's so many of us. To have a lot going on, babies going on at the same time. I do have a niece. Anna and Nikki's older sister is pregnant with her first child, her and her husband. They've been trying for a few years, so I'm, I'm happy for them. Um, and there's no other babies. There's no weddings in the future uh, that I know of right now. So... My oldest nephew is in his 40s, and my youngest niece is five. And there's quite a spread. I got lots of nieces and nephews, but I got a big family. There's a lot of us. So that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to take a smaller brush, go into Hell Ride, and put it underneath my lower lash line. I don't want to do too much, I'm just going to the doctor. Okay, I like that. Let's see, let's put a little something on my lid. I'm going to go in with Big Sky, which is this teal color. I'm just going to mix it up a bit whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to put that all the way across my lid. I didn't dampen my brush. I think if I wanted a lot of pigment, I would need to dampen my brush. Yeah. But this is fine for now. I am going to have the eyeshadow on to see my surgeon today. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Now, I think I'm, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to go into, um, I'm going to go into Radio, which is that darker um, teal, and just put it on this outer the outer V, just 
just to make that a little darker. I don't want to go too crazy. I'm going to take I'm going to take a uh, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Peekaboo on my finger and put that right in the center of my eyelid. Okay, I am going to put my mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, mascara is on. Now, let's continue. I purchased a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Uh, our Kmart's have gone out of business. Do you guys have Kmart around you and have they gone out of business or are they closing? I've always wanted this bronzer, but I've never broke down and bought it. And I got it like super cheap, like a couple of bucks. Now the problem is this lid's kind of broken. It won't open all the way. The bottom will open up, but the, that won't. But that's okay for a couple bucks. That's all right. So we use it. It smells great. Our Kmart didn't have a lot of stuff left by the time I got there. But yeah, everything was on sale. It's still not closed, but I don't need to go back and check out anything because there really wasn't much there. I'll close this up. Now, for uh, my blush, I'm going to use my little Balm Springs from the Balm. That's in my project pan. I am going to use my Super Shock highlighter from ColourPop in Butterfly Beach, which I haven't seen that on the website. I don't think they have this one anymore, but it's in my project pan. It's one of my favorites. I like Butterfly Beach. It's a pretty rose gold. I just don't feel I get my use out of these super shocks. They dry out before I can use them up. Okay. So, and last I'm going to use a, a Bite Beauty Lipstick in Saki. I really like these lipsticks. They smell good. They go on great. There we go. That's my look for today. I am just going to the surgeon later. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for joining me. I hope uh, you guys have a happy Mother's Day. Those of you who are moms, who are moms to humans, or who are moms to pets. <laughs> So everybody, I hope you have a happy Mother's Day. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.